the prophecy of persecution. Don't fear. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, 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 Kohen Laim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kudash, the Barna City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kudash, Brakdam to Zakonium. You elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, and our King, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This brother Peshai, Ban Yahshua Allah, and be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on the prophecy. Of persecution. This book is Second Edges, chapter sixteen, and verse sixty-eight. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. So in the very near future, the devil Esau Edom. Matter of fact, Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So in the very near future, the devil Esau Edom will send his troops, mercenaries, UN troops, FEMA troops, to gather up Israelites, all right? And bring them to concentration camps. That's us being fed with things offered unto idols. Being idle with things offered unto idols. And within them camps, the rehabilitation centers, they will try to offer, not even try, they will offer, all right, the RFD microchip, NFC chip, brain chip, all right, to be a part of the new world order system. When the whole time, they already have a list called the red list, blue list, and yellow list, all right? Based on the different projects like Project Pogo and the Zypher, all right? Project Pogo being the double agents, the YouTube gatekeepers and gatekeepers in general, they set up to spread information that's true just to see those who hearken to the information is against their um, agenda, all right? So they gather up all the IP addresses, email addresses, and names and put it on a list. All right. And then you have Project Zypher when they'll bring a uh, blackout. Then they'll go to gather up these people on that list. Now on the red list is outspoken ministers. All right. Which is brothers like us. All right. Brothers that serving Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Outspoken. All right. No filter. Bringing out the word of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and exposing the devil for the devil he is. All right, we'll be on that red list. The blue list are the listeners. Those that watch, learn, comment, like, share the videos. May not be out there teaching, all right? But they agree with what we're saying. Yellow list are the sheep who don't know what's going on, but they still won't get starved out. So that time is coming soon, the prophecy of persecution. So back to secondary 16 and verse 68, we're gonna read verse 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trod underfoot. So if you make an agreement with the devil, you can be had in derision and reproach. All right. That'll be a shame and a downfall. Ultimately, you're going to get put to death. They're going to mock you in the end. All right. Like I mentioned, they already have a list. <laughs> you know, so verse seven, for there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And they talk, let me look something up very fast. When you look up the Insurrection Act, right? Insurrection Act, right? <clears throat> Let's see what it says. Insurrection Act of 1807. Go to Wikipedia very quick. It says, the Insurrection Act of 1807 is United States federal law that empowers the President of the United States to deploy US military 
and federalized National Guard troops within the United States in particular circumstances such as to suppress civil disorder, insurrection, and or rebellion. All right. Are we not rebels to the society? A rebel is one who rises up against an established government or monarch. All right. Is it not written in Psalms 90? Let's get that precept right fast. Psalms. So in the eyes of Esau, we're rebels. Psalm 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's doing that? The prophets. Was it Solomon chapter 5 verse 1? All right. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. So who's a, a righteous man standing in great boldness? All right, that's the men of the Lord. All right, starting with the apostles, bishops, elders on down. Brothers out there teaching this glorious gospel, standing in great boldness and rebuking the wicked, rebuking the heathen and even our own people, first and foremost, man. Isaiah 58 in verse 2. But verse 2 in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strainness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. So we're not afraid. Don't fear. Salvation is near, man. So back to 2nd order 16. Right? 2nd order 16 and verse 71. They shall be like mad men sparing none because a lot of them troops will be under MK Ultra mind control. A lot of those troops will have microchips in their brains. All right. They're going to be uh, them super soldiers, mercenaries, love killing for sport. They can be like madmen sparing nobody, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's the Israelites. Verse 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. All right. So they're going to come down, knock down our cribs, cast out our houses and bring us to these camps. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as a goat in the fire. Then at that time to be known who are the chosen, the elect of the Most High. Because many are called, but few chosen. Not chosen will get delivered through those said perils, as is written. I'm going to come back to this chapter. Now, I'm going back to Revelation, the 12th chapter. We're going to jump down to verse 17. And the dragon, the Roman Empire, which has been revised in these last days, He's going to Esau, Edom, and his system he got set up and established. Was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That's the elect. Was keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shamashiach. That's us and his truth. Those are the Israelites that know the Israelites and proclaiming to be Israelites and serving the Most High God Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah. Right, we're the main threat to Esau, Edom, and his new world order, his one world government. Why? Because they understand Judah, the fifth chapter. They understand if we come back to our power, our God, Yahweh, and we come back to him through his son, Yahweh Shai, who's the way, the truth, the life, then that's their downfall, man, as a, as a heathen nation ruling over us with rigor. All right? So they're wroth. They're angry. So they soon come down with that persecution and grab brothers up. Now, let's get this chapter. Revelation chapter 20, all right? And verse four, the verse, yeah. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh, which had not worshiped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reign with Hamashiach a thousand years. You see? So those that was beheaded sat on thrones and reigned with Allah Yahweh Shah for the first thousand years in the kingdom of heaven. So you're going to have a lot of um, brothers getting beheaded. Why? For the witness of Yahweh Shah, for the word of the Most High, for this truth, and for not worshiping the beast, neither his image, and not receiving the mark of that beast, the mark of the system, which is the chip. You see, they give Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, 
even as others which have no hope. Now this sleep right here is referring to what? Psalms 13 and verse 3. Consider and hear me, O Yahweh, my power. And this is light in mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Death and sleep in scripture are synonymous. Yes, you have actual sleep. Like they say, sleep is a cousin of death. All right. Death is just, you know, separation from the spirit and the body. All right. So, Pastor Thessalonians, those that are asleep, like Allah Yahweh Shah said about the damsel, that was at the age of 12 years. He said she just sleeping and he lied to him to scorn. All right. Then he then said she's dead and he raised her from the dead. First Thessalonians 4 and verse 13 from the top. But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, those that died in this truth, that you saw not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also will sleep in Yahweh Shai, will Yahweh bring with him. So brothers and sisters that die, believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, they can be brought with him. All right, let's read on verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, those that didn't die. Because it's different scenarios, it's different lots, different destinies. Some brothers' lot is to be martyrs, witnesses, they're going to be headed for this truth. Some brothers' lots, they're not going to be beheaded. All right? Some brothers' lots will get spiritual power. Some brothers' lots, angels will come for them, guide them, protect them. All right? We're going to find out in that time. But no matter what is placed in our path, we have to have faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Then, verse 17, then, which we, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Isaiah 59 and verse 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, which that's the east. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The word there for spirit is racha. One of the definitions is imparting warlike energy and administrative power. The word for standard is nawas. And the definition goes to put to flight, to fly, to disappear, fly on horseback. That's going to spiritual power. You see that? So some brothers will get spiritual power when you still come down with that wrath. So in the midst of that persecution, don't fear. No matter what you're faced with, countless times throughout the scriptures, the Most High God, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, came through for his people, especially his elect, whom he has care for. All right? So we have to go through that persecution. Again, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Look at Luke 21. Luke 21. In verse 12 but before all these and we start up some we go to the different signs of his return and of the end of Esau's world verse 12 so this I we know this is gonna happen soon but before all these they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my namesake so they're gonna grab us from our homes all right they're gonna bring us to these different camps these prisons all right, and blur us up to different rulers, judges, governors, presidents, elites. All right, for his namesake. And it shall turn, verse 13, they shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And you shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. 
and some of you so they cause to be put to death so some of our lots are to be put to death for this faith and this truth and some of our lots are to get betrayed all right by those that's close unto us that may know where we live know where we work know that we're Israelites teaching the truth things of that nature all right and going back to the insurrection act of 1807 you know donald trump says if he gets in office he's gonna enact that you see that any 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 baby whatever he deems as rebellion you see that so it just it won't start it won't just stop with the migrants anyone they deem a threat all right any form of insurrection matter of fact what was the apostle paul charged with sedition sedition is speech inciting the uh, overthrow of a government you see that so our speech our prophecies which we're saying through the scriptures of course through the spirit and power of y'all by shema shah things that we prophesy we're letting the world know of our lord yahweh shai you will come conquer this world and the downfall of esau that sounds like sedition all right because it's the same message that the apostles was teaching two thousand years ago and they kicked them out of rome they persecuted the church they, they they killed james the brother of john threw peter to prison all the apostles got put to death except for saint john the revelator who died later on down the line in the island of patmos because he had to get the book of revelation apostle paul beheaded by nero which we believe started apostle tahar that nero is donald trump all right in the reincarnation if you could receive it or understand it all right them same caesars are back this is the roman empire back again understand that he, he's the one talking about it bringing back beheadings with the guillotine bringing insurrection acts things of that nature so it only makes sense all right so reading on verse 17 and ye, and ye shall be hated of all men luke 21 and 17 and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake there shall not in hair of your head perish and your patience possess your souls because even those that died i read it already they don't get raised from the dead all right so the persecution is at hand let's end it off with this one revelation chapter 2 and verse 10 fear none of those things as a matter of fact i got one more after this Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. Ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life. Second to 16. And verse 74. And it reads, Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. And that's beloved, that's his chosen, that's his elect. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. And the God of them will keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, power. One more. Strive for the truth. Sirach, I believe it was 17. No, Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee so the prophecy of persecution but don't fear with that let's give all honor glory and infinite praises to the heavenly father yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rechak wadash double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad pushing his truth in sincerity yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rechak wadash brakdom to the hopeful elect the elders the brothers, the sisters. With that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh, Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh, Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh, Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh, Shai. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.